Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the discussion aisle. I'm one of your hosts, Esther Ayako. Meshak Moya. Nema Kerubo. Larry Oma. Now, a good number of us, if not all of us, must have heard of Lord Egerton. This Englishman who found himself in Akuru, a place called Joro. Now, he fell in love with an Austrian woman called Michelle. Now, in the bid to convince Michelle to get married to him, he built a big house of six bedrooms. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yes. Yeah. And so he invited Michelle. When she came, she said she cannot live in a chicken coop. How big is your house? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Now, Digaton then again decided to build a bigger house, 52-room mm. castle. <laughs> Never been in a 52 room castle. You could get lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. It was built by serious architects, mm. masons from Italy, and serious, serious civil engineers. He invited her again to come at his place. When she came to a 52 room castle, she just sneered at it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just rude now. Yeah, what do you want? And walked away. Mm. Okay, poor man. Now, if rejection can <laughs> wrench a heart, Lord Egerton's heart was shattered. But wait, Lord Egerton built first a six bedroom yeah. house, a 52 room castle. Yeah. And still, this Ocean woman wasn't convinced. There must have been something. Maybe he wasn't speaking her love language. Maybe. Yeah. So, that brings us to today's topic. Today, we are talking about love language. Some of you know what this means, and some of you have no clue. But it's fine, we've got you covered. So, let's start with the basics. What is your love language? Anyway? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. um, words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love being reassured. Okay. Tell me uh, I'm beautiful. Okay. Tell me I'm the only woman in your life. Okay. Tell me I mean the world to you. All Just right. reassure me. Uh, and by reassurance, I don't mean like you do it daily, on mm -hmm. a daily basis. Yeah. Like once in a while, when you, you've like really thought about it, you just tell me out of the blues. Yeah. So you just like being reassured. All right. Yeah. You're the one. I'm the one. Okay. What's They're yours, Hilary? Oh, myself. Acts of service. Acts of service? Yeah. You have to help me do something. You have to be there to do that thing that I think you should be doing for me. And it's, for me, it's an expression of love. All because right. for number one, it takes thought, it takes energy, it takes a lot to, for one to just do some, something to the partner or spouse. Mm -hmm. So if you do that to me, I'll feel you love me. So that is my love language. You are a shock. Words of affirmation. Okay. Any okay. day, any night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Tell, tell me, I look good in that suit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, reassure me of this thing. Mm -hmm. Tell it to me. Mm -hmm. I, 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 don't, I don't mind how often you do it. Mm -hmm. as, as, long as, as often as possible. Mm. Yes. <laughs> as long as it's affirmed. Ah, yes. Mm. As long as it means something. Exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, we have talked about uh, our... Okay, I just realized that not said mine. Yeah. <laughs> mine is acts of service. Yeah, I enjoy it when someone goes out of their way to do something for me. But it has to be thoughtful. Don't just do things hoping that I am going to, to enjoy or appreciate it. You have to actually know me. 
And it has to be someone special because eh, people out here are creeps. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you, mm -hmm. Hillary. Yes. <coughs> what is the grandest thing you've ever done for someone? A friend, a girlfriend? The grandest gesture of love? Myself. If I'm to speak about the thing that I've done, I think I've done a lot, but the one that I can really remember, I think taking somebody from my house, going to the boutique, picking something, that it was what I think was close to 20. I think that was too much for me and it was out of 20 what? 20 shillings? 20, oh, wow. yeah. Hillary, you have Thank money! So, to me, <laughs> what? So, to me, she wants you. To me, like, that's the thing that I think I've done the highest level for my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, why, why did you do it? One, mm, I think my girlfriend's, all my former, she's a former now, I think her love language was gifts mm. and so I, I'm a person who when you speak I really analyze and listen keenly. Mm. So she's wisdom receptor and, exactly <laughs> <laughs> so she's still like baby when will you do this so you see although that is coercing but I felt this is her love language yeah so for me to just do that I, I felt it was just making her happy okay. yeah all right wow. Now we're here. Words of information. Mm -hmm. So, has a dude written you poems? Yeah. Right. Telling you that you're everything. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? <laughs> 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 it felt nice. I, I love poems. I personally write poems. So no. I, I really love poems. Okay. You know, for as long as you don't like overdo it, you, you don't exaggerate. Just be real about your feelings and yeah, I think I, I felt great. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. And you've written someone poems? A lot of poems. I knew people Many with people, big not just one person, many poems. <laughs> um, one person, a lot of poems. Oh, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now because my love language is words of affirmation obviously if i'm going to express love for the first time i'm going to speak my love language mm -hmm. so i'm a poet and right. a poet <laughs> and then i've written poems mm -hmm. wow. to to my partner or, or ex-partners i don't have any <laughs> ex-partners i don't have any now Yes, um, and they felt so happy. I remember writing a poem to some lady, and she texted back, and uh, if equal affection cannot be, let the more loving one be me. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! What? So, okay. <laughs> and then that, that, oh. that really told oh, me this poem has gotten right into her mm -hmm. bloodstreams. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I think, and then buying a flower. Okay. Oh, valen oh. Valen Valentine. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know what someone <laughs> did for you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't love like that. Uh, no, uh, that has to be something. It's just, it's not. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Thank I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to recall and I can't see any. Oh, that is so hard to break you. <laughs> <laughs> you do all the work. I tell you, I oh. thought it was more. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's sad. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> okay. Esther, mm -hmm. you've received poems. Mm -hmm. You've received poems. Mm -hmm. No? Or yes? No, no. Have you received a poem? Yes. Now, how would you feel? Mm -hmm. Someone you just met today, mm -hmm. they just took your number mm -hmm. today and they start sending you poems, telling you that you're, you're the everything, you, you make the trees sway, you make the sun rise. Mm -hmm. You make the, the the stars shy because you don't you shine brighter than them. Mm -hmm. All those sweet nothings. Mm -hmm. How do you try? feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Personally, that's a turn off. Yeah, it's that's weird. That's a turn off. Right? I mean, you've just met me. Mm -hmm. You hardly know me. You don't know me. Maybe I'm not a star. I don't shy. I don't make you <laughs> say. So why you like like uh, it goes back to my point. 
why are you exaggerating? Mm. No. So uh, that's a turn off. Okay. If you're in a relationship and mm. you've been dated for some time and you know me, then mm. it's allowed. Write me as many poems as you want. But then for the first time, for the first day, kindly don't. Okay. Yeah. So now this brings us to the types of love languages. We have five. There is quality time. There is words of affirmation. Mm. We, we've already talked about that. There's gifting. Quali- uh, there's acts of service. service. And what have I left out? Physical touch. Physical, Physical touch. touch. Yeah. yeah. So, words of affirmation. Tell us just something small about it so that we can know if we fall into this category. Before, before I talk about words of affirmation, I must do justice to... Uh, an ex of mine. Mm. <laughs> I, I remembered five years ago, mm-hmm. an ex bought me a necklace, silver necklace. Mm-hmm. I didn't remember that when, when you asked me if there's anything I've been done. To. Mm-hmm. So I really must say that maybe she's watching it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, 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 <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Yes, you know, uh, um, she did that. And it was a treasure thing, you know. Yes, but then words of affirmation. Mark Twain says, I can live for two months on a good compliment. Uh-huh. Good compliment, Nemo. Mm-hmm. For two months. Okay. That means <laughs> I need six compliments. Uh-huh. Uh, Mark Twain, if, if, if Mark Twain's words are to be taken literally, mm-hmm. uh, then he needs six compliments. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm only feeding on a good compliment. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. On six good compliments uh-huh. for a year. If you must, if you're going to express your love emotionally, you must speak it out, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. If, and I'll tell, ask you this, if, if a man approaches you and, you know, they, they feel you and they want to do life with you, mm-hmm. they will express that by word, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, words of affirmation play a big role in matters love. Mm-hmm. Solomon. Uh, the ancient writer, Hebrew writer of wisdom literature, you know, uh, talks about the tongue has the power of life and, and death. death. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. He again says that uh, uh, an anxious heart weighs a man down. But kind words, you know, motivates him or, you know, or keeps him high. So really, if, if you are told words of affirmation, like you're complimented, and what they, they are, there are various dialects in words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. We have verbal compliment, like you dress so well, mm-hmm. and your man tells you, Oh, you look gorgeous in that dress. Mm-hmm. Your, your woman tells you, You look sharp in that suit. Oh, you know, it, 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 it makes you feel how you, it makes you move, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That is how you feel. <laughs> yes, yeah. so, so she's thought of the word sharp just mm-hmm. for me. Uh-huh. So this is how I look. Yeah. And, and you know once you go you, out there with confidence. You, mm-hmm. Your head high, ah. you know. <laughs> when your man tells you you yeah. look gorgeous in that dress, mm-hmm. you don't care what everybody else is going to say. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The person that I love told me I look gorgeous. Mm-hmm. So you I can do. say all you want to say, mm-hmm. but I look gorgeous. You're probably jealous. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then again, words of affirmation really is they don't just end at the verbal compliment. Mm-hmm. We also have encouraging words. Mm-hmm. All of us have areas where we are insecure. Yeah. True. Where we lack the courage. Mm-hmm. You know? Like like you are a poet. But you lack the courage to do this thing so big. Mm-hmm. But then there's this man who encourages you. Who tells you, you know what, Esse? You can do this. Mm-hmm. You can write poems. Mm-hmm. We can publish poems. Mm-hmm. You know, you've heard about the story of uh, Maya Angelou mm. and, and Taylor Perry. Mm-hmm. Words of encouragement. Mm-hmm. Those are people that words of encouragement have escalated them to some social class. Mm-hmm. You know, Even Ben Carson. Sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then again, there's this uh, kind words. Yeah. L- love is kind, mm-hmm. and if we are going to communicate it verbally, mm-hmm. it, we must communicate it in kind words. Mm-hmm. Very kind. You know, if you're going to tell me something. And, and this must happen, or rather should happen, mm-hmm. even in times of misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like how you, 
uh, talked in that bash, but say it in a kind way that really your man or your, your woman doesn't feel like you are against them mm -hmm. or something of that sort. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if you if you're going to be kind with your words, then you're going to speak the dialect, uh, one of the dialects of uh, uh, words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Another one is humble words. You see, love in love we make requests, not demands. Mm -hmm. All of us got desires. Yeah, you have your true. own desire, mm -hmm. he got his own desires, mm -hmm. she got her own desires. And if I'm dating, my desires to my woman should come across as requests. That is if we want to build the intimacy. Mm -hmm. But if they come across as demands, then it's, it's like I'm giving ultimatums. But we are, we are equal mm -hmm. partners here. Nobody is a child or nobody is superior than the other. We are equal partners. So humble words. And there are so many dialects that we can't really talk about due to time. Okay. But all the dialects of words of affirmation work in the common uh, use of, you know, reassuring mm. this person that you love them. And words are important, as we've mm. seen. Yes, and, and, and really, a uh, psychologist, mm -hmm. William James, says that possibly uh, the deepest human need is the need to be appreciated. Yes, that's true. And words of affirmation meet this need in many individuals. Mm -hmm. Many individuals. I remember before really I learned over this, uh, Martin Luther King Sr. He had a house that he called Black Cloister. Mm -hmm. And when he got married to Catherine, people were now coming to black cross uh, he in, in a short while he had a large family not his biological children but people who are coming to live there mm -hmm. then he would call catherine kitty my rib you know that thing was making <laughs> catherine to mobile mm -hmm. um, and he, he, would, he would you know he would call catherine this mm -hmm. in public yeah. and in private okay. so if you are going to use words of affirmation do it in public in private. Uh -huh. You are in church and you are invited and you are married. You can call your wife. See, oh, Mama Watoto. Ma I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Mama Say something Watoto. nice. Yes. Okay. Mom, Jaber. Uh -huh. A girl Toto. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mama okay. Chibu Chibu. Uh, mm -hmm. Mama Mbuyui. What? Yeah. Okay. okay. You know all the words. <laughs> words mm -hmm. are important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but as we've already said, we've uh -huh. already talked about what uh is written in uh, Solomon's book uh -huh. that the tongue yeah. has the power of life yeah. and death. Yeah. Yeah. That means this thing, it just these words you throw around, you have to think about them uh -huh. because those same words you, you're using could um, could hurt someone. Yeah. Sure. But I want to know briefly about the limitations and the misconceptions. Yes, you know, even if you're going to speak, if your partner's uh, love language is words of affirmation mm -hmm. and you've learned this and you're speaking, you want to speak this. I told you some other time and you didn't like this. Mm -hmm. Don't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> that don't, don't, don't flamox. Don't, because too much mustard, he yeah, like, may work in opposite direction. Oh, you just say it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because we are, are meeting them mm -hmm. for the first uh, week. Mm -hmm. We are, we've only known each other for seven days. Mm. And I want to write a poem with seven stanzas. A book. You Tell know, everyone. Dedicated for you. Call uh, me all the names. Yes, you mm. do. I, I can't sleep. Without, what do without you mean? talking to you. <laughs> and, and you've been sleeping for 23 I know. years. <laughs> but maybe this time around, you can't sleep for it. Uh, that's just a <laughs> That's just oh, yes. a way. I, I think they, 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 they will reach a time. Mm -hmm. yeah where it will make sense to her mm -hmm. if you write that. Yeah, true. You know, for now, just don't be a creep. Mm -hmm. Keep it to yes, yourself. keep mm -hmm. it, you know? <laughs> but if you want, second day, you, you barely know this person. Mm. What What's the poem, the seven stanza poem about? When all you know about her is her face, and her, her, her figure, name? her name. You probably don't know the uh, second the name. name. Yes, you, you, you only know Meshek. You know the second name. You don't you don't even know where I come from. All you know is my face, my <laughs> uh, and, and my name. Yeah. Seven stanzas. Seven what stanzas. are you saying? You're not being realistic. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. And 
or some misconception about and this will come in the direct of encouraging words. You know when your partner is so big, mm-hmm. overweight, yeah. and you start telling them you, you should you should go to gym, mm-hmm. you should go to gym, that is not encouraging her or him. Mm-hmm. That is putting pressure on them. Mm. Mm. And it's offensive. It's offensive yeah. because then even if they'll go to the gym, they'll say, okay. It's if, because if, he doesn't if, like yeah. me anymore. If it makes him happy, it's okay. Yeah. Again, you know? hey, is it because now I've grown this side mm. that she doesn't like me mm-hmm. or he doesn't like me anymore? But is it my fault? Mm-hmm. Or even if it's their fault, but they will, they will realize they need to do some workouts. And they will not feel appreciated if you yes. say it that way. Yeah, because mm. every time you have to appreciate them. So what can they do? What can we do better? First of all, mm-hmm. before you you encourage or you are really about encouraging and, and complimenting and everything, know what is important to your partner. Mm. For example, about the gym thing, if they tell you, hey, you know what, babe, I want to go to the gym and I want to start next week. If you're a man, you tell, hey, it's okay. I think then let's go on Sunday and look for the best, uh, the gym. best gym in town, yep. mm. you know, and again, look for some serious trainer mm-hmm. so, so that you can do this well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I'll be happy to take you over there. Like mm-hmm. I can take you there every, every evening. Day. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, so, so that first of all, you know what is important mm-hmm. to them. You watch the, what they want, you know, so that even as you're going to encourage them, you are encouraging them in line with what is important to, to them. them. Yeah, I like that. Yes, okay. not just saying you should go to gym, mm-hmm. even if it's not their thing, and they are planning never to go to the gym mm. until the rivers all run dry. <laughs> can I, sorry, can mm. you use these words of affirmation to correct your spouse? Maybe she has done wrong, like using that sandwich method. She has done you wrong, but you don't have to confront her directly. Maybe you're telling him, ah, baby, oh, you're always good at this, you're always good at this, but I think this way, you can do it better if you have done, could have done this way. Can you use that sort of information to correct yes, our spouses? Yes, that is the uh, dialect of uh, kind words. Kind words? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. She's been cooking so well, mm. you know? Now, like, for example, uh, this is a story that... Uh, uh, I have a wife and uh, you come to visit me all of you and she's cooked and she has forgotten to put salt in the food then you say hey there's no salt in this food I'll say oh you know I don't use salt so maybe while she was cooking she hit me in her mind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not just bashing her in front yes. of yeah, she hit she <laughs> me in her mind that's, that's nice. why she, she didn't do this yeah? this is really your language nice. no, <laughs> you know but hey there's no salt here. Mm-hmm. Failing me. You're failing me. You know? yeah. Embarrassing me. You, you, you got to be kind. Mm. Love is kind. Yeah. So you can tell, find a way of telling them in a kind way. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that they don't feel, you know, offended or mm-hmm. underappreciated. All right. Hillary. Mm-hmm. Yes. Acts of service. Yes. Just something small. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? Act of service for me, I think it's something that you do that you think your past partner need you to do. But because you really love him or her, you love to do them. But with a positive mind. Eh? I don't have to push you to, the, to do them. This is not a person who has left his job. Like somebody who has just ignored his, his role or her role. No, this is somebody who has decided to do something just because my partner wants likes it when I do it this way. Okay, can you give us an example? For instance, mm. if vacuuming a house pump for my wife makes her happy, mm-hmm. I think I should do that for her. Mm. If at all, maybe she's not too good in cutlery skills, mm-hmm. but if me if me, me doing that to her is making her happy, I think that's an act of service. Mm. Or, for example, I would like that my wife maybe in future, mm-hmm. me entering the house and just carrying the shopping, just coming for me to just help me carry the shopping. Mm-hmm. To me, that is an act of service. I would really love it. Mm-hmm. I know children will do it, but I will love it when my wife just help, help them do it too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Quality time. Uh-huh. What does this even mean? Someone uh-huh. is all over you 24 uh-huh. 7. Is that quality time? Hapala. That's just a lot of time. Yeah, no, that, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is a lot of pressure. So uh, when you talk about quality time, this is what we mean. Um, 
we are dating. Me and uh, Meshaka are dating. Uh, we, we definitely have to have our own time to just, you know, catch up at the end of the day, after work, after school, mm -hmm. you know, just catch up, talk. Uh, tell me how your day was, mm -hmm. you know, listen to how my day was. Just, yeah, just catch up and, and like talk and, and have fun, you know, maybe do something, uh, go out, mm -hmm. eat, uh, go for a walk, you know, something like that. Like in you see um, 24 hours in a day, I'm like constantly calling you, mm. babe. Why are you ignoring my text? <laughs> okay, from being honest, yeah. I know probably someone is watching. I've done that. I'm yeah. like, call uh, when I was still young and uh -oh. I was still being, yeah. I used to do Before that. Like, mature, yeah, I like, like uh, I want to talk to this person for, for like yeah, the whole day. Yeah. And then um, I grow up and then I realize that uh, there's so much more to life. You know, people work. Yeah. People study, so there's no time. People have their friends. I know. People have their lives to live <laughs> away from your relationship, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And and we all need our personal space. Mm -hmm. So so I think uh, that time when you're just like um, having with your with your partner, doing something special, I'm just talking. That is quality time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can you can cook a meal together. Mm -hmm. You can go for a walk, mm -hmm. bike riding. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is to leave all the distractors behind things yeah. like phones how do you Television. feel hanging out with this man yeah. and he's on his phone who are you talking to i mean i'm right here mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's rude and mm -hmm. that's one thing that people get wrong i for example if i am a person who appreciates quality time mm -hmm. and i've made this time mm -hmm. for you i've set this time apart so mm -hmm. that i can spend it with you mm -hmm. and your on phone calls, mm -hmm. IG, mm -hmm. texts, and I'm just there wondering why I did this to myself. Mm -hmm. That's rude. So if you realize that your partner, your partner's love language is quality time, mm -hmm. you have to leave all the distractors. Exactly. So this time is just Are about... Uh, yeah. yeah. So now we're going to talk about gifting. And, and, and you must tell us about gifting. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So gifting. There are people, all these other love languages are good. They are fine, but they just don't get them there. Mm -hmm. mm. Only gifts make them feel appreciated, mm -hmm. seen, and it doesn't have to be something extravagant. You starve yourself for weeks so you can go buy her, her favorite sneakers. You know I like sneakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So you, you starve yourself so you can get her this nice sneakers and a hoodie to match. I don't think your girlfriend, if she loves you, will be happy to see you skinny and weak yeah. mm -hmm. because you're doing this for her. You can do something simple. For example, I would appreciate something that you have taken time and done with your hands. You can get a book and cut out pictures of the places we've gone mm -hmm. or our, fa our favorite time together. Mm -hmm. That, that is thoughtful. Yeah, yeah, Would you ever throw out a book like that? Mm -mm. No. Because someone took their time thinking about you this entire time. Mm -hmm. So now, this is the scenario. <clears throat> Esther, you're with this man mm -hmm. who has money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Money is not a problem. Mm -hmm. So every day they are buying you things. Mm -hmm. Would you be surprised? Like I'm sure the first two times, three times, you'll be like, oh, yeah. a ring, mm -hmm. oh, a necklace. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's diamond, it's gold. Mm -hmm. Until it's like, ah. Oh, Again, it's because, no, no. yeah, no, because no. now it's, it's, it doesn't have any thought behind it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. There's nothing that screams you mm -hmm. behind that gift. Mm -hmm. And they would spend that money anyway, because mm -hmm. they have a lot, a lot of, of it. Of Much money than time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. about the gift, it's not even about the money. Mm -hmm. It's not about how expensive this gift is. It's about the thought. Mm -hmm. What sentiment mm -hmm. does it, does it hold? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So you, you want to buy me what um you want to buy me a car mm -hmm. maybe i don't want a car yeah true i don't need a car mm -hmm. but i have told you all the time that oh i would like in a, just in a conversation in passing that i would like one day to go to Paris mm -hmm. and see something mm -hmm. or i would like to go to rome mm -hmm. for a trip mm -hmm. oh i'd like to something as simple as um go on a train mm -hmm. But you, you want to buy me a car? I'll, I'll, I'll go to Usenge. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> yes. Go to Usenge. 
<laughs> like I want something and I keep telling you but you ignore everything I'm telling you because you have so much money you just want to buy me a Benz. Okay. So the things, the misconceptions behind uh, this theory uh, of uh, gifting is that people who love gifts okay. are materialistic and shallow. Uh -huh. But I think they're the most true people. That's right. I mean, some could be materialistic. Uh -huh. Just the same as people whose love language is words of affirmation. Uh -huh. It's not a personality test. Okay. So it doesn't mean that the people who love gifts are materialistic. It's just how they feel connected, uh -huh. appreciated, and seen. You can do something simple like pick a flower. You go somewhere and you see something that reminds you of them. Just that time that you're away, uh -huh. for them to know that you were thinking of them when they were absent. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And now we want to talk about touch because now. I've got a question for you. Yes. Maybe you are... Love language is gift, just the way you've said it. Yes. And I've just given you a wrong gift. Mm. Maybe according to you, because just knowing that your, your love language is a gift, uh -huh. so I'll be, just maybe pick randomly anything that I think deserves you. But again, it turns you off. Mm -hmm. So should we like just write down what, we, what gift you want in? In sequence, maybe in this month, if at all you have to buy, you have to buy me anything, please just do this. Exactly. What? Apana, mm -hmm. what is a gift? Let's start from there. What is a gift? I personally think when you're buying someone a gift, uh, you're buying something that you think is right for them. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not them calling you and telling you, buy me a phone. That mm -hmm. is not a gift. When I call you and ask you, Hillary, Buy me a phone. That is not a gift. Mm -hmm. no, no, because I'm the one who has requested you to do it. Mm. A gift, ni ile you, you're passing a boutique, you see a nice shoe, and you're like, Nema loves sneakers. Let me get this for her. No, no. And it's a Nike sneaker. And she, she doesn't love maybe Nike. She, she loves something else. Uh, uh, when you bring it to her, uh, maybe she, she won't be that happy because it's not the exact sneaker that she wanted, but that's a gift. You thought about her and you felt like this next sneaker will look lovely on her. So you get it for her. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to like make a, a list of things you're supposed to gift each other. Yes. But then you make it a but, chore. But then like yeah. keep in mind whatever your partner likes. Yeah. And what they may need. Yeah. Before you, you buy the particular gift. Don't just yeah. go around buying anything for the yeah. sake of it. So you might think I love gifts and you start buying me jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I don't like jewelry. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with it? Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to, at the end of the day, you would have wasted your money mm -hmm. and time. Nema, that again uh, brings us back to Hillary's question. That I have this. I, I mean, I want to buy a gift for my girlfriend. You know? Should I ask her? to write a list mm. of the gifts. Mm. No. Wants, or is there any way <laughs> or is there any way that I can know the gifts yeah. that will communicate to her? Mm. That this will touch her. Yeah, I mean how do I know the question really is mm -hmm. how do I know mm -hmm. the gifts that will make her feel loved? Yeah. I'd like to answer that with mm. something very simple. Yes. At the end of the day, it's the thought that counts. Yeah. But if this is your girlfriend mm -hmm. or your boyfriend, your wife or your husband, mm -hmm. if you listen, you, you will know. know. Yeah, exactly. You will know. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something simple, mm -hmm. something that you will not even need to think about. If, um, if you wanted to go home tomorrow yes. and you passed by, I don't know, a marketplace or a boutique, what would you take home for your mother? Shoes. Shoes? Yes. Because she likes shoes, right? Flat. Uh, Flat shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, how do they call it? Doll shoes. Mm -hmm. oh, because yeah. she likes them. Mm -hmm. How did you know? Did she tell you, Meshak, by the way, I like I shoes. I love shoes. I love doll Did she? Oh, no. I, I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> exactly. Okay. exactly. Um, if yeah. you listen and you pay enough attention, yeah. you will know. know. Now, let's talk about touch before we go for the break. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah. Touch. The people who like to be touched, uh, just uh, hand-holding, mm -hmm. you putting your hand around them, mm -hmm. 
it makes them feel close to you, connected to you, appreciated. It just makes them feel warm inside. Mm -hmm. But I... <laughs> some people have taken this um, to a level where it makes other people uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, culture usually makes some things hard. Mm -hmm. Because in the West, I'm imagining this is fine. You can hold yeah, someone's hand. Mm -hmm. You can go showing love anywhere, mm -hmm. but you do that in your village. And all the mamambogas are like, mm, you know? And then kidogo, because kidogo, it's a taboo. Your parents, <laughs> yeah. Your call. We because, saw your daughter mm, being hugged. She was being hugged. Right? Finally. <laughs> Hugging the uh, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a love language, but you have to be respectful. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. in this setting of ours mm -hmm. where it's not very acceptable outside to just do some things outside. Mm -hmm. you, know? mm -hmm. you can't go outside ga gate, you and your boyfriend or you and your girlfriend, and you start kissing out there mm -hmm. because it's going to look bad. Exactly. So with touch, you, you have to show this person love, but be respectful mm -hmm. of that person and the people around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, about these people, maybe touch, physical touch is the love language, mm -hmm. but you carry on with the thing and then it reaches a point then it tells you or she tells you stop it. What does it always mean? It's uncomfortable. Yeah. She does not want to proceed to yeah. where you're going to. Yeah. Touch, you have to have consent. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just go touching someone. Exactly. Because <laughs> you will get clubbed beaten you'll get a black Stops. eye yeah. please mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to have their consent mm -hmm. and go at the other person's pace maybe they don't like you holding their hand mm -hmm. in public mm -hmm. yet maybe it's their love language mm -hmm. but it's not yet time for that yeah i think because physical touch leads to so many things people are confusing it for their primary love language mm -hmm. when really it's not mm -hmm. because you know if, if people are love buds they're in their house physical touch will lead to something else uh -huh. you know so you might be there say hey my love language is physical touch why because maybe it leads to you know intercourse uh -huh. when when it's not the, it might be your secondary love language but but as Nema rightly puts it is that our touch physical touch is affected by the culture there are people who know that hugging is for married, you know, people. And it's done in the house, in the bedroom, for that matter. So that you don't show children <laughs> bad manners. Mm -hmm. That's back in the village. Mm -hmm. you, you can make it look so so nice or so easy over here. But back in the village, you, you do that and everybody will be like, hey, we, we told you. You, he can't be in town and be the same, mm -hmm. you know, he can't be in town and be the same, you know. So I think what, what we should know about physical touch is that uh, it's, it's, I think it's never people's primary love language, so many people. They just confuse it because it leads to something well, many people enjoy, but it's not their love language. I okay. to yeah. I think, I, I think people are different. Yes. And therefore, you cannot just throw it out that it's, it's never people or everyone's love language. Mm -hmm. For some, you just have to hold my hands whenever we walk. For no reason, but just because I love it that way. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, but again, just like the, the way she has put it, don't use it extremely. Yeah, but don't rule it out. I think. I'm not, I'm not ruling it out. I'm only saying that a good number of people think it's their love language because it leads to something else. Mm -hmm. But when you sit them down and ask them, what what do you think if your man will do, you will feel so happy? They won't talk about physical touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I get his point. Yeah, there, as you've said, that it, it's some, um, but there are those whose primary love language is yeah. touch. Yes. Maybe you have a friend who just mm -hmm. likes to hug mm -hmm. when you're walking there, holding you. I'm that friend. Oh, yeah. Love yeah. Hugging. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just want to hug because that's how they show you that uh -huh. they, they love you. Uh -huh. Yeah. But now we're going for a break and we'll be right back in a few. Stay okay. tuned. <music> oh. 
Welcome back. So now, Meshek, what is the point of being conversant with these love languages? Uh, I think so that you feel each other's love tanks. Mm -hmm. When the love tank uh, runs empty, you will have a series of misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. That's why you get somebody say, I don't feel for her anymore. I don't feel for him anymore. I don't love him. I hate him. She hates me. So if you learn their love language, you will feel their tongues. And after time, because you're going to date or you're going to get married, you're going to live for as long as God has planned. Mm -hmm. So you go to know their love language to make sure that you feel their love tongues. Mm -hmm. Yes. So ladies, gentlemen, don't turn that person into a detective. No one is Jedi. You want them to read your mind. Hmm? If you, if, you, if there's something you prefer being done a certain way, if you appreciate um, being shown love in a particular way, say something. Yeah, sure. Speak up. Hmm? Don't just uh, start complaining that they don't show you love while you don't communicate. So you have to communicate so we can avoid miscommunication of affection. Oh, yes. Because Esther, hmm, your, your love language is um, words of affirmation and you like um, also a, a person being close to you. Mm -hmm. But this person wants to gift you. Hmm. They are showering you with, uh, with necklaces uh -huh. and, and fries uh -huh. every <laughs> day. Fries. <laughs> <laughs> I want fries. They, they want to take you to Paris. Uh, this person is, is feeling in their heart they are doing their best. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. But you go home and you're wondering, why doesn't he love me? Yeah. Why doesn't he want to tell me all these nice things? Mm -hmm. He never even makes an effort to tell me something nice in the morning. Mm -hmm. He doesn't send me texts mm -hmm. telling me that he misses me mm -hmm. or that I am beautiful. Oh, yes. I mean, you you don't need to hear it, mm -hmm. but you want to hear it from them. Yeah. yeah. From you them know you're beautiful, but you want them to tell you. I know. Mm -hmm. So just to avoid miscommunication of love know your partner's love language know your own love language so you can also speak up and say by the way uh, i appreciate you mm -hmm. um paying for this trip oh yes mm -hmm. to hawaii but i'd rather um uh, we stay here and sign up for a cooking class mm -hmm. <laughs> you know because you just yes. i want to learn how to cook well for you mm -hmm. yeah. so let's go do this together, together. Uh, mm. so hillary yes. do you think the couples that um that have the same love language are happier than those who have different maybe you're dating someone who loves gifts and your person who wants acts of service do you think this could work or it would be better if you were both just words of affirmation type i think uh, a little bit it will make them happy but for me it will be nice if we both have different love languages why so because just like what's your love language what's affirmation. what's of affirmation if i just go out of my way to just do that to her mm. i think it's an expression of love and it makes you feel exactly very good inside exactly. Mm. instead of us having the same love language say gifts mm. and bring your gift you bring me gift You'll find it's boring. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. boring so much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also confining yourself to just one love language. Yep. You are not going to get the whole experience. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to make you codependent. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to stifle your growth and authenticity. Because now who are you? Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you are both the same. You don't have room for growth. But if you can expand, it, maybe even it could work if you both gift people, but mm -hmm. expand your, your horizon. Do something outside of this thing, yeah, but they, 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 they can still appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, there's a story I read about uh, in a book that uh, uh, the mother to the husband died and she was going to be buried. And the wife asked for the information from the boss. The boss said, you can only have two hours. And then this wife said, hey, that's my husband's mother. Mm -hmm. I must spend a whole day with him. I must comfort him. And uh, the boss said, okay, you spend a whole day, you 
you lose your job. Mm -hmm. Then you know the, the wife says, I better lose my job because my husband is more important to me than this job. Mm -hmm. You know, the husband, the, the husband's uh, love language was quality time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. if if and, and then listen to this, if you get to know that your partner is ready to lose his job, you know, to speak your language, how important is that to you? You know, that will touch you so much. Mm -hmm. So I think if people who have different love languages is so nice, the diversity is so nice than the boring same love language. But it's okay, they're also happy. I mean, right? it, it can yeah, also yeah. work. It, it works so Just well. don't be boring. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's predictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's wise of affirmation, wise of affirmation. I'm expecting a point, he, he's, he's expecting a, a point. point. Yeah. So it's just, just <laughs> back and forth. So it's a routine yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but yeah. acts of service, he's expecting a poem and you're expecting being cooked for. Exactly. Or maybe you don't even know what's coming because you don't know. You don't yes. even, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. One day you, you prepare dinner and, and he says, I'm, I'm doing the dishes today. Mm. Mm. Who doesn't like a man that can cook <laughs> and do <Yes>. dishes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and do dishes. Can, yeah. you, can, you, can one person have both uh, two love languages? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Is it something good? Or is, it will appear demanding. No, it's advantageous to you, but mm -hmm. obviously one will be stronger than mm -hmm. the other. Yep. But when you have more than one, I, I think it gives even the other person it, more things it, to, it, do to do for you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that love will be colorful. Yeah, but hey, communicate. People talk. Mm -hmm. Say something. One thing before we move on, I want to talk about gifting, because I was just thinking mm -hmm. about people. None of us are married here, but <laughs> this, there's something that happens to people when they get married. Mm -hmm. You get comfortable. Now, you don't want to buy those things you used to buy before. No mm -hmm. flowers, no chocolate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, to pick her up mm -hmm. when, when you come home. Oh, yes. Or when she comes home, you don't want to open the door. I mean, chivalry dies. Like, it just goes to the grave. Mm -hmm. And then this man, on your birthday, buys you... A gas cooker. <laughs> Comes home, oh honey, I brought you something. Kipini ya kurol chapati. What am I doing with this? Wine glasses. <laughs> what am I doing with mm -hmm. this? It's my birthday. Are we mm -hmm. celebrating the anniversary of the house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my day. People, get creative out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get boring because when you get boring, your relationship starts to die yeah. and your, connect your connection starts to also die. So you keep things spicy appreciate yeah. each other because the thing that everybody needs in this life is to feel appreciated mm -hmm. connected yes. to other people mm -hmm. that, especially the people that we love yeah. so meshak you've read chapman's book oh yes what can we do to find out our love languages and our partner's love languages so we can appreciate each other better now, love languages are affected uh, with our backgrounds mm -hmm. yes now what you grew up when, when your mom was, you know, touching you or your dad touching you when you come back from school and you appreciate that you are touched, you know, hug and, and yeah. stuff, your, your love hug. language will be physical touch. Mm -hmm. You appreciate it or you are a good boy, you're, you're a nice girl, that will be your love language, your information. I think, first of all, know what you like. Uh -huh. Know what, if your partner will do any day for you, you will feel loved. And like you said, communicate. Tell tell your man, hey, my love language is acts of service. So that it, it doesn't bar him from buying the gifts. But he should know in his head that my love's love language is gifts, you know, or acts of I mean, acts of service. So that he does this so well than the other. Mm. Yes. Okay, so uh-huh. Uh, I have a question on the same on the same point, like uh, on communication. You have to like communicate and tell your partner what your love language is. So I have this friend who's like so straightforward. She meets a guy and then she's like, uh, <laughs> "Do you have money? Uh, yeah. You know, will you buy me this? Uh, will, will you buy me food? Will, will you cook for me? You know, like like is there a way in which uh, you're supposed to like communicate your love?" language without uh sounding uh demanding because uh i i don't think she's demanding but uh I, 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 I yeah she's she's like too honest about her <laughs> love languages and i think 
to some people it's it's like very uncomfortable you know you, you meet a guy for the first time on your first date and the first thing you tell this guy is do you have money will you be sending me money oh, what message does that you know, send to the other so person? like is, is there a way in which you can communicate your, your love languages without sounding so demanding esther mm-hmm. honesty without kindness is cruelty mm-hmm. that's true i said when we were beginning the show that uh, one of the dialects of words of affirmation is kind words tell your friend to be kind she's kind <laughs> she's kind she's, she's just, just too honest and, and then she's again kind. tell her to allow to give time yeah, relationships grow you know you don't meet me today and you start you started telling me you love my friends. first know about know about my characters what i like and stuff now i will know in fact if we are speaking i will know your love language mm-hmm. you don't need, but you don't come and say hey do you have money <laughs> like so, so, uh, like Kwake, mm. ni, ni she, she wants to like be clear from the word go. Oh, you know, yes. that is that is her mentality. Like she wants okay. to be clear the from the word day. go. Oh. I am going to tell you this. If you do not have money, we cannot date. We cannot go on a second or, or, or a third date. We cannot do whatever this is if you okay. do not have money. Now, I, no offense to your friend, mm-hmm. but I just want to ask you mm-hmm. if would you do that? Would you go asking a guy if they have money? What kind of message would that send to that person? I'm materialistic. That you're materialistic. Mm-hmm. Why or why don't you want to use your own money? Um, Chapman says that the point of this theory mm-hmm. is not for you to demand for things. Mm-hmm. It's not for you to demand for other people to do things for you, mm-hmm. but for you to do things for your partner. Mm-hmm. For the well-being of your partner. Yeah. Yes, it's not for you. It's not for you to start demanding. So I don't think this is even about love language. Mm-hmm. She, 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 I think she doesn't know her love language. Chapman calls Money. that one manipulation by guilt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's manipulating somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so if you want to know your love language, you can go online and do a small quiz and you will be able to know where you're strong. Or mm-hmm. you can read uh, Dr. Chapman's book. The five love oh, languages. Yes. And things I wish I'd known before I got married. Mm-hmm. Ah, good books. Oh, yes. <laughs> so how can we learn to love better? Um, I think uh, by simply understanding the other person's love languages, uh, knowing your own first, and uh, being able to communicate effectively, tell this other person, uh, I appreciate you doing this, but I think I'll feel better if you do this this thing this mm. way. So I think it's it's just a matter of understanding mm. your your partner's love languages and uh, knowing how best to go about it to like meet them meet their needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've been asking a few people through through the week mm-hmm. about their love languages mm-hmm. and how they they would like their partners to know about uh, about their love languages and one of them. I told her I would mention her name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Winnie says mm-hmm. that communication is key. Mm-hmm. Please don't turn that man into a detective mm-hmm. to oh, yes. go asking your mother, your aunt, your sisters, your, your friends. friends. Yes, Believe that's a lot of mm-hmm. time and energy mm-hmm. when you can just communicate. Mm-hmm. Say, I appreciate the necklace. I appreciate the texts. Mm-hmm. But um, now... I appreciate I would like for you to come and uh, go to gym with me mm-hmm. or let's walk to Kimondi or yeah. to Kapsabad. Let's mm-hmm. take a walk somewhere in the park together because um, this is how I appreciate it the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how do you think you would uh, communicate love best now that you have had all those things? Oh, uh, first I think have you ever heard of this saying speak my language speak to my heart actually uh, dr albert marabian mm-hmm. conduct, conducted a theory a research and it's called the marabian theory he says that at about seven percent of communication is by word of mouth and 38 percent is by the tone of our voice mm-hmm. and hoping 55 percent is by our own body language so you find that a whole 93% is done by whole body language. What do I what do I mean? 
need to learn your, your somebody what he communicates or what she, does she communicate. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy when you speak my language. First of all, what did my, what does my partner like me to do always? There must be something that she always want me to do for her. Mm -hmm. If at all, I have a, I've taken a note on that. I think that's what the first thing I should be attending mm -hmm. attending to for before any other thing. Yes. Yeah. To avoid miscommunication That's of true. love. You could be doing your best, but it's just not what your partner well, needs. Yeah. Okay, now we want to get Bible support. Mm -hmm. Okay, the um, Esther, you, you have two verses. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with Mark 12, 30. It says, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other? Uh, the other one is uh, First Peter 4, 8. And it says, um, just a minute. Uh, can we talk about the first one as I yeah. kind of? Sure. Meshak, yes. I know you have something to say about this. You say this all <laughs> the time. Say it now. Let the people hear. <laughs> I, I, I've told you this mm. time without number that a woman's heart should be so hidden in God that uh, a man must seek God just to find her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so strong. Yes. So we are going to have Hillary first. Hillary seek the kingdom of God first. Which, uh, just to find Esther. Mm. <laughs> I mean, if you find such a woman that you have, you must have seeked God first mm. just to meet her. Oh, you, you have the best woman. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so if uh, if you want a good job and you have the right connections, mm -hmm. you are assured of that job, oh, yes. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if God, okay, if if um, if this lady's heart is in God, and you go through God to get this woman, mm -hmm. she has the right connections. Mm -hmm. She is connected to love because God is love. Mm -hmm. She is connected to the very source of mm -hmm. love, and if you have to go through God to get her then he is also connected to the source of love exactly. then you will know how to love this woman mm -hmm. right <laughs> and this woman will will love you the right way then you will not have problems it will be out of generosity you know mm -hmm. because in relationships generosity is key you will just want to do things for your partner you Ta know time that sweet softly now you want to sing this <laughs> <laughs> love at home to Meshak, you Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. the other verse is uh, First Peter chapter 4 verse 8 mm -hmm. and it says above all love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins mm. love love all the way mm -hmm. you have something to end with maybe my verse mm -hmm. it's Philippians chapter 1 verse 9 mm -hmm. it says and this I pray that you love me abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. So in all judgment, you're going to do it in love. In love. Even if you know something, mm -hmm. they did something bad. Just do it in love. You're doing it in love. Mm -hmm. And how you can do it properly is by knowing the right things to do and to say. Mm -hmm. By knowing this person's love language. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you're going to be able to have healthier and more fun relationships oh, yes. because of this conversation that we've had today. I uh, will miss you till next week. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.